Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 2 of RPA in which we will be having some questions which are most expected questions from exam point of view. These are looking long questions but it is very simple. Make sure you watch this video till the end. You will get to know all the concepts which are required for you to score full marks on this uh, module. And I will be discussing the concepts which uh, you need to uh, highlight more upon and what are the key points you need to write. Okay, So make sure you watch this video till the end. Before uh, starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support helps me make more videos like this. And let's Let's get started with the first question which is, is uh, list the major industries that benefit from RPA. What are the major industries that are benefiting from RPA? You have to remember this uh, short form A U B W T K. I don't know how you'll remember this, but you have to remember A U B W T K. A U B W T K. Remember this till your exam. A is automation anywhere. Automation anywhere means anywhere you can automate. That's what they have kept their name. You can anywhere it, uh, automate it anywhere, like anywhere across the world, whichever company it is. And it uses that co RPA cognitive data, machine learning, and natural processing. It uses unstructured data as well. Main thing you have to keep in mind is it automates the business anywhere. These things you can read and go through it. Next we have this UI path. UI path is a studio which will be focusing more upon so you can uh, get more information on that. For now just remember it is it has UI path studio to design the process, robot to automate the task and orchestrator to manage the tasks. Okay. And everything will be having a runtime development environment and centralized command system and everything. Okay. Each of this is common to everyone. You can write it for uh, all the things to fill the answer script. Moving on, we have the AUB. B is the blue prism. Blue prism will be having uh, according to the needs. It will not just simply make all the things automated. It will just automate those things which are required for us. Okay, that is the main thing. Enterprise that can be required for automating the things. Rest thing you can add by yourself. It is faster, efficient, time saving, and it uh, costs less and it is helpful for many things. It can automate the uh, cloud feature also. Even if it is not there, you can uh, still write for uh, filling the answer script. Next, we have Work Fusion W. Work fusion is an automation that is based on RPA and machine learning. The main thing is machine learning here, okay? And rest of the things, whatever it is that you can write. Thoughtonomy helps to automate the business and IT process, same as the other things. Cofax is an automating software that is also uh, doing the same thing as the other companies are doing, but it just has a different name. And it does uh, does the deployment of the bots and management of the console and so thing. Okay, it's not nothing special, just uh, same as the previous one. So make sure you know the six um, company names very well. What are the six company names? A, U, B, W, T, K. Moving on, we have the second super important question, which is the explain the components of RPA. These are very much expected and important questions, so make sure you know this very well. We have three main things here. You have to draw this diagram. In this diagram, as you can see, we have the development studio here. If development studio is there, obviously, we'll get an output, right? See, this is the input. We'll be giving all the inputs to what? The studio. So, obviously, we have to get some output. The output is nothing but the enterprise app. So, enterprise app is handled by whom? Robot. So, it is a bottleneck is here. And obviously, everything will be controlled by control center. So, in this way, you have to remember, make three boxes like this. And after that, right the development studio the output is their enterprise app it will be handled by a robot and everything is handled by control center after i've written this much you have to come to this one and write three things record a plugin extension and workflow design so after you have written these three things you have to write a few keywords uh, for each of these for example what is a recorder it records development studio it gives all the features for the recording plugin extension if you want to uh, do something extra than what others are doing that you can use that bot runner is nothing but you will be using a bot for uh, running a task and controlling it using control center and these are the things you need to write for the component of RPA. Moving on to the third question which is explain the UI path stack. Super important question from exam point of view. In UI path stack we have three things. UI path studio, robot and orchestrator has already discussed what the studio do. It provides all the features and all the development tools used for the development. After knowing this, just go through this. You will get to know. Robot is the uh, thing which uh, automation thing and whatever you do it will automate it automatically that is the work for the robot orchestrator manages the processes and the data what has to be done when schedules the times and all those things are the com comprises of the UI path stack super important question from exam point of view moving on we have the um, fourth question which is the uh, yeah, list the control and panels and available in UI path either they can ask it separately or they can ask it just like you will explain the uh, control panels available in UI path studio here you have to use your brain and uh, some common sense why because it's very long uh, things are there how you have to remember is start from the top in the top there is a ribbon okay this blue thing is called what blue ribbon and what are the features it have it has start design execute and one more it has top okay setup and um, Sorry, setup. So, four things are there in the ribbon start, execute, um, 
design and setup we will be using these four things for doing what they have to be done okay after that we have the quick access toolbar if you just come down we'll be having a quick access toolbar like this one and we'll be having after that there are, there are many keywords you can easily remember just by hearing like for example designer panel used for designing properties panel used for looking properties outline panel you know what it is argument panel variable panel activity panel library panel like the names are sufficient project panel and output panel now only you can recall three library panel output panel and uh, property panel activity panel uh, outline panel output panel see many are there okay you can just hear it and uh, keep it in your mind don't put more stress in your mind you'll forget what everything okay if you put stress in your mind you'll forget everything stay calm you'll have everything in mind don't uh, put more stress okay you'll just mess up the things <clears throat> The next thing is explain the UI path uh, recording. There are four types. The first is the basic. Basic means it just records single step and simple steps. And desktop is uh, able to record the multiple steps and complex steps. Web is the thing which records the web steps. Uh, Citrix is the thing which uh, records virtual environment. If you are sitting here and your laptop is in US, you can record that using what Citrix environment. Okay. Next we have the super important question which is explain in uh, detail the steps involved to automate uh, the emptying trash can. The first thing second one is emptying the recycle bin these are two super super important questions from exam point of view here what you have to do is you have to explain in detail how do you empty the trash can in the gmail see you have a start here you'll be starting and ending in between start and end only everything happens right so you'll be first if you want to empty a trash can in gmail what you will do you will first go to google open the browser you need not mention the same words if you know how to do it you, you can just write it in your own words and then explain each step what's happening open the browser and then go to the gmail sign in go to the trash folder click on empty trash confirm as simple as this what can be more simpler than this you want more simpler than this in your stupid person only this is the most simple form which you can have here as a flowchart you have to just, just explain in depth in your own uh, creativity whatever you can mention also you have to mention the how the browser looks like um, like for example when you click uh, on go to desktop where you are clicking it in the UI pass studio there will be somewhere up an icon here okay this icon is there in my video of the tutorial of RPA you have to watch that then only you'll get to know okay you have to watch that get to know and write the same in exam you have to do a Draw these diagrams as well because that also has the marking schemes. Okay, how do you empty the recycle bin? Even a nice uh, nine years old uh, child also knows go to the desktop click on recycle bin click on manage empty recycle bin confirm close the window at the end these all things you just have to record it once and uh, save it if you just click it again it will just automatically do it for you that is the main concept behind the emptying trash in the recycle bin and the emptying uh, trash in the gmail okay so this is all what is there in the module 2 of rpa make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one